Hi guys, thank you all for watching. Sitting behind me are two of the most popular dump trailers from the Big Tex lineup. The 14 LP and the 16 LP. There is a very common misconception that we want to dispel here. And that's the point of this whole video, basically. The 14 LP and the 16 LP, the box is exactly the same size. The common misconception is that the number 14 is the length of the box and the number 16 is the length of the box, but that is not true. The number 14 is actually referring to the weight capacity of the trailer, the gross weight capacity, and the zeros are just simply chopped off. And in this case, 16,000, the zeros are chopped off. These are trailers built for different weight capacities. This trailer will hold 3180 more weight than this trailer. If you want to know a little bit more about weight capacity of trailers and you haven't watched it yet, I have a really embarrassing but cool video where I am scooping up dirt in a five gallon bucket and we're weighing it and we're giving you exactly how much of different materials you can go in these trailers. And it's pretty cool. There's a link to it. It's right here. Check it out. The 14 LP, probably the most popular, you see here has a price of $12,499. The 16 LP has a price $15,499. So there's a $3,000 premium for that 3,000 pounds weight differentiation. But there's a lot of differences between these two trailers. So first of all, the 14 LP, the bed is made out of 10 gauge steel. Now 10 gauge is very thick, it's thicker than a lot of other dump trailers on the market. But the 16 LP is made out of seven gauge steel. Gauge steel, the lower the number, the thicker the steel. So this is a thicker, heavier bed on this trailer here. This trailer is better for guys doing concrete. Think of a dozer full of slabs or sidewalk pieces dropping it into the bed. This bed is gonna morph and de deform less than a 14 LP. Overall, this bed is gonna last a lot longer before it rusts out and rusts through. In the case of a 14 LP, the axles are 7,000 pounds rated, so they add up to 14,000 pounds. And we're gonna show you a close-up of this sticker here. It really breaks it all down, 14,000 pounds. And then it doesn't give you the weight of the trailer, but you could figure it out if you subtracted your net payload from that number. So let's see, it's 4,180 pounds is the weight of this rig. It's sitting on the axles. So it leaves you with 9820 left to put in the bed. So 4180. On a 16 LP, the axles, they're called 8K axles, but they are actually 8,750 pound axles. So it gives you a gross weight rating of 17,500 pounds. But this trailer is made out of thicker steel. So just this bed is heavier than that bed. And you can hold 13,000 pounds in this trailer. So that means this trailer weighs 4,500 pounds. So it's three, 400 pounds heavier just in the bed alone. The other big difference are the tires. These tires are a grade E. They are a 10 ply. A 10 ply is good, but it is a more basic tire. If you are gonna buy this trailer and max load it, you're gonna put 10,000 pounds in it. What you're gonna find is the bottom of this tire is gonna morph, it's gonna squish. And then if you try to take a squished tire at 70 miles an hour, it's squishing every time it goes under and it's going to rip this tire apart. So you're likely gonna upgrade these tires immediately if you buy this trailer. At retail, you go to a tire shop, you buy the tire that's on a 16 LP, it's gonna cost you somewhere between $1,000 to $1,200 to take your tires from here and put tires like this on them. And even if you did that, you still wouldn't have something that's very important. This rim is made out of a thinner steel. It is rated for this kind of weight capacities, but a 16 LP has a much thicker 3 8 thick rim, and it is heavy, heavy duty. And this rim is built to hold more weight as well. It's very thick steel. Just lifting this tire and wheel up to put on this trailer, it is triple the weight of that tire and wheel. And then finally, the last upgrade is that you have a longer lasting, heavier duty oil bath hub. This is a grease packed hub. 
This one actually has liquid oil in it. It runs cooler and theoretically, as long as you're watching it, it's going to last longer. Other than that, these trailers are identical as far as their hydraulics. They work the same. Their hydraulic control boxes, their front jacks are 10Ks. They both come with a tarp kit on them. They both come with a four-way rear gate that opens in the middle. It'll also do the spreader. They both have pull-out ramps. They both have rear jack support legs. They're in every other way identical, but if you need to hold over 10,000 pounds, then you need to have a 16 LP. A lot of vehicles like Kubota skid steers are in that 11, 12,000 pound range. And a lot of guys are trying to use their dump trailer to also uh, carry their loader. And those people really need to spend the extra $3,000 and get into a 16 LP. That is basically everything you need to know about a 14 LP and a 16 LP and the differences. We're working on a new series of trailer videos and we're gonna have a buying guide coming out as our next video here soon. It's gonna help you pick the exact right trailer for you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we're a trailer dealer. We have the entire Big Tex lineup in stock. We probably have 300 trailers in stock right now. We carry Express, we carry Triple Crown. We're a new dealer for Spartan. We have three locations now. We're in Winter Garden, Claremont, and Ocala. We'd love to sell you a trailer. Call us with any trailer questions. Hit the bell icon down below and you'll get a notification whenever a new video comes out. Drop any comments down below that you may have. Remember to like and subscribe our channel. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.